mesh boards. I've had lots of different ones made. I've got some in brass here. Some more convenient than others. Or just even a plain piece of aluminium. Uh, rings. They come in various sizes. You've got some for the fox rings there. If you want to knit an 18 mesh net straight off the ring, inch and a quarter ring. Inch rings, just for your ordinary, everyday shaped purse nets. Then I knit my nets onto a bar. That's all it is. Piece of high tensile fencing wire bent to shape. There's the nodules on top of the ring. Just take your knife and just gently pair them off. Just stops the twine there. Take a file. You'll feel when they're gone. And to really finish it off, scouring pad. Nothing there now. The other thing the scouring pad's good for, you drop your mesh board, anything like that. Just take your mesh board and just run it over there. It takes all the burrs off of it, little minor imperfections out of it. Just keeps it running sweet. Just do each edge. You'll feel no burrs now. Simple stand. The way it's loaded on a conventional needle, go around your tongue back down, turn it away from you, round, down, when you're, it's quite important that you load it in the proper way, as you can see the twine's coming off the bottom of the spool, if you load it the wrong way you can put a twist in your net, so I'm not going to spend too much time, you get the idea on this, all you're doing is taking it round the tongue of the needle, keeping it tight, pulling it down, round, twist it away from you, anti-clockwise, that takes all the twist out of it. Just When you've loaded 10-15 pieces, you take it round the back of the needle, form a loop, pull it down, pull it tight, do that for about half a dozen then, and you'll find you'll get a lot more on your needle. We'll just carry on loading this. Just load it up to you. Can't get any more on there. Every now and again, just make that loop again. Take it down the bottom, pull it, and it'll fill up the sides of the needle. Otherwise, you'll just fill in the tongue area up all the time. It makes a difference, you'll get at least a third more on a needle. The more you get on a needle, the less joints you'll have in your net. That'll do for that needle there. It's not fully loaded, but I want to show you how to join later on. So 
That's what we use. <coughs> we come over to the Loomis needle. Put the twine through the hole in the bottom. One simple hitch on there, just to hold the twine in place. All you're doing exactly the same way, but you take it through the tip of the needle. I'll just carry on loading this. It's twisted in exactly the same way. When you're not knitting the nets and that, and you want a quiet evening, you sit in front of the TV, you can load up quite a few needles. Probably in my net making box, I've got at least a hundred needles loaded up at a time. Just means I can just keep net making whenever I want. 